We have Jojo from Las Vegas here, Lost Wages we call it, and uh, she is out here because she has some carpal tunnel that she can't seem to get rid of. She is an ICU nurse that slipped and fell in the nursing ward several years ago and has never recovered. Uh, she has heartburn, sleep issues, headaches, some neck pain, but this carpal tunnel is why she's here. She can't find a chiropractor in Vegas to help her, so she drove out and uh, did a short stint with us. She needs more time. Definitely. But she did three days. I think she did pretty good. Check her story out. Hope you like it. Leave your comments in the comment section. <laughs> I'm with Jojo. She's come all the way from Vegas to come out here. She dances at night and works no. as a nurse during the day. No, I I'm wish just I could dance. I wish I could dance. <laughs> make a lot more money. <laughs> I make a lot more money. I'm going to show you guys uh, her x-rays in a second. Uh, take a look at those things, really tons of arthritis, reverse cervical curve, inverted atlas. She's got all going on, rib calcification. She's been in pain a long time. And so uh, I'm going to put those up right now, check those out. And uh, also, does your chiropractor take x-rays? Did all the chiropractors take no. x-rays, by the way? No. Oh, they didn't? Well, what are you here for, Jojo? Basically, pain here, 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 to my neck. When is it worse? Basically, when I wake up in the morning. Let's talk about your headaches. When my neck pain goes up so high, it goes up to my forehead. I go to sleep early, yeah. 8, but I wake up around 12 or 1. Quality of sleep has not been there for a long time. Mm -hmm. And we traced it back to 10 years ago, right? Yeah. Heartburn. Yeah. How much heartburn? Every day. She's constipated. She doesn't go to the bathroom every day, right? She tries every day. What? Yeah. Uh, how many years has that been going on, by the way? A long time. Again, this all goes together. The body's made whole. When it works as a whole unit, it works better. And you poop, and you don't have heartburn, and you mm -hmm. sleep better. So all those things go hand in hand. Yeah. How'd you get the name Jojo, by the way? Oh, my dad wanted a boy. <laughs> so <laughs> he called me Jojo. Jojo, please. Now, what kind of pain you have there is a tension, right? Yeah. What is tight. On a scale of one to ten, what is that? Two to three. Two to three. And she doesn't even call it pain because she it's wants tightness. to call it tension. Yeah, tightness. Go back like this. Yeah. Two to two, three. Two to three. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, look at the floor of your neck. Any pain there or tension? Mm -mm. No, look at the ceiling. How about that, tension? Just tightness. Tightness, so on a scale of one to 10, what is that tightness? One to two. One to two. And now last one, go ahead and squat to the ground, please. And what about your back now? Uh, three. Three, gotcha. So that's the most, right? Yeah. Let's go here. What was that, that like? That was a deep, deep... Wow. Is that different than the other chiropractors? Definitely. I feel I'm flushed. Oh. Good. Time to get up, Jojo. Now, no twisting or turning. Look straight ahead. Keep your arms to your side. Let's see how you're doing. I feel lighter. You feel lighter? Mm -hmm. You feel taller? I wish. <laughs> Look how much taller you are. <laughs> Any difference there, Jojo? Still the same. Still two? Yeah. Gotcha. Stand up. Like this, please. Still the, the same. Two, Still the same? Oh, interesting. Huh? Nothing. Actually, not, nothing. Nothing much. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Nothing much mean no pain, or is it the same as it was before? One. <coughs> oh, so I'm the shit. You were getting, no. I thought you were giving me the shit. No, you're, I am the shit. You mean you're saying that you're feeling better? Yes. Oh, see, I thought it was the same. Like, I was like, oh, man, she doesn't like what I'm doing. I'm like, send her back to Vegas. No. Mm -hmm. You look at the floor, please. There was nothing there. Look at the ceiling. That was a two or something like that. Mm -hmm. Is that any different, too? Um, maybe one. One. So everything's a little less, right? Let's check your squat. Go ahead and pop a squat. Mm. Mm, maybe one. One? So it was a three before, right? Mm -hmm. So um, what do you think on a percentage scale? I mean, how much better do you feel right now all of a sudden off the bat? I mean, that's what, 30 seconds? If I like stretch it out? 10, 20, 30. Mm -hmm. 20. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So, uh, so far so good making mm -hmm. the trip out here? Yeah. Good. My wrist and my elbow is better. This one still not that good. My neck still a little bit painful, but better. I still have some back pain. Gotcha. Okay. So let's talk about um, headaches too. Headaches. Um, I only have headaches twice 
So it may not be any big deal, gotcha. I'm just gonna go over the symptoms she gave us. Mm -hmm. Sleep. I had a better sleep last night, not the other night. Yeah, and why she had, why better sleep? What did I tell you to do? What was the instructions I gave you that got you better sleep? Kick the husband out of there bed. There you go, see? <laughs> <laughs> and so, <laughs> A equals B, husband out, sleep better. I'm just telling you guys, separate rooms, it makes the case for separate rooms. <laughs> and so, uh, really the real thing is we found out that she has a son that she can't discipline to get out of bed with her. <laughs> Really, Same she's, with you? Uh, no, my kids are old now. Don't pull that on me. That's, uh, <laughs> my kids are 17 and 19 now. But she has an eight-year-old that still sleeps in bed with her. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and so, uh, he <laughs> likes to do the like things kids do, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh so, and so, Mama can't sleep. Mm -hmm. And so, she's visiting family right now, and uh, they're in a queen-size bed. Husband, eight-year-old, that's probably bigger than her already. Mm -hmm. And her in the bed, and she's up in the corner by the pillow, going, I can't, I keep waking up. I go, you're waking up because you have too many people in bed. <laughs> so anyways, I made a joke about kicking her husband out of bed, and she goes, I slept so much better. <laughs> uh, heartburn. Mm. Every day you have it. Every day, yes. Yeah, I have it the last two days. I mean, I have no idea. Yesterday, yeah, the first day I, you had it, so. Yeah, and yesterday. Today, not as much, but I still do. Uh, constipation. I have bowel movement this morning. Good. So is that normal? As you say, you have it three to four times a week, so it could be normal still, right? Uh, she came in for carpal tunnel, though. That's mm -hmm. what she came in for. She came in elbows, wrists, and those are better. Mm -hmm. Those are the things she came in for. Now she's, you know, like any girlfriend, they always want more. <laughs> <laughs> I just like you, and then all of a sudden they want more. You know? Just give us a percentage how much better you are mm -hmm. overall, just in a percentage. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, where are we at? Oh. 2030. Another detailed x-ray report for you guys to watch. Check it out. Now, this pink line is a center of mass of your body. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. So we want to see where your head is relative to that. And so you see how your head is yeah. to the left of that? Mm -hmm. And it's a left 13.80 millimeters right here. And so is that a lot? That's a lot. Not the worst I've ever seen, but definitely a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this arrow points to the direction your head is going. And this arrow over here points to your TMJ. So you have mm -hmm. jaw pressure. Mm -hmm. And so that jaw pressure reflects on your neck. How? Well, when you have tension in your jaw, you clinch and you grind at night, and that will put pressure back on your jaw because of just mm -hmm. the location. Mm -hmm. So again, jaw here and neck here. So really close proximity. Um, left shoulder is also lower, 6.41 millimeters. So what does that mean? That means essentially her whole body is leaning to the left. Uh, yeah, I noticed that. Good. Well, that's at least, I, at least one thing I know. Yeah. Thank you for giving me that at least. <laughs> yes, I appreciate that. I noticed that. Good. I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> as, as you know, Jojo knows more than me. So no, it doesn't matter. Okay. So anyway, she has a 12 degree curve here and a 12 degree curve here. So a little bit of scoliosis, mild scoliosis to the upper back up here, right? Mm -hmm. Again, these aren't the areas of problem. These are areas of weakness. So these are opportunistic places that imbalance attacks. And that's all between her shoulder blades and between, uh, this is by her bra strap right here. So A to B curve down here, um, all these arrows, this, this arrow is pointing to all the gas, constipation all through here, you can see that. Mm -hmm. um, this arrow is pointing to this white, these white streaks coming off her ribs. Those white streaks are evidence of long-standing back pain, so she's had it for 20 years, easy. And these are just evidence. It's nothing you can do about it, but it tells me how long she's had a problem. Side view of the low back. Uh, posture sucks on her, and so she is standing forward of uh, midline here, meaning these two arrows point to that her whole body's leaning forward. She walks on her toes a lot, which is an improper posture. And so she has uh, arthritis because of that. Uh, this arrow points to all that white rib stuff I was showing you on the other view. Here's all the constipation. Now, the neck should be shaped like this yellow line. Mm -hmm. So we call this a reverse curve, a kyphotic curve. And so that just shows you how extensive her reverse curve is. Why is that important? Well, this presentation causes these bones out here to mm -hmm. splay out like that. It's just a biomechanical thing. As this pushes out, it pushes on that atlas, which is this arrow right here, mm -hmm. okay? This bone should be shaped like this, should be pointing down like that. Okay. Yet hers is pointing like this. Okay, why is that important? Well, her brain cell that fits right in here like this is getting mm -hmm. pressurized, and so pressure on that causes distortion of the brain stem, which causes imbalance. Mm -hmm. And so the things I've taught you, the adjustments I give you are all focused on allowing the brain stem to relax more. Mm -hmm. So all these things about posture, like it doesn't feel right, doesn't feel right, 
Well, again, it's all reflection of trying to get this in the right spot. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Okay. Good. Lastly, because you've had this so long, uh, these bones should look flat. Well, none of them look flat, but this is arthritis, a little bit of arthritis. This is worse, that little hook right there. Mm -hmm. And down here, that's a lot of arthritis. You actually have bone growth into the, um, the soft tissue. And so this one looks pretty normal, but lots of arthritis right at the apex of the curve. That's bad. Skipping back to the adjustment room. I want to show you this. This is how it's supposed to look. This is normal. Okay. Is there too much reflection in the camera? Good. So uh, it's supposed to be this curve right here. See how the atlas is pointing down? Mm -hmm. Yours is like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Again. It's the other way around. And your neck goes the other way around. Mm -hmm. And so this is. These are smooth bones. See how they're smooth? There's no hooks on them, and the discs are nice and big and wide. That's normal. Left untreated. This is what happens. Arthritis starts to develop. Mm -hmm. You're right here. Your face three arthritis. And there's one more phase to go in your neck. And so by doing by doing nothing, again, the obvious progression is this, but by doing something, we can stop it and stop it from getting worse. Okay. Ooh. <sighs> Painful still, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she's still suffering with some of this pain with the adjustments. Um, it shouldn't be this way. Uh, we need to ice more. We need to get her body to be more compliant. The reason she's still feeling the symptoms she's feeling when she talked about is because this hasn't reduced yet. And so uh, this is part of uh, the problem with short-term treatment is that a body can't actually reduce the inflammation fast enough. And so it's doing it. This is better. And she's icing all the time like we asked her to do, but just still... Now, she ain't making a few funny faces because it hurts a little bit, but um, I think she'll even admit that those are probably the best adjustments we've had. They're really nice and deep and, and uh, moved a lot of bone and changed the spine. So I could feel that. I think she could feel that too. Those are really pretty good. So she's relaxing better and her adjustments are going better, just the inflammation again. What, is this, what has this been like? Because it's only three days. Mm -hmm. Well, the tre the adjustments is really, really deep. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah. And um, it has resolved this one. Gotcha. Which is my primary problem. Uh -huh. right? And this one. Is... What about three days? Do you think it's enough? Do you think you you've gotten out of this what you like? You think you need more? I'm kind of curious what you think I about three more, days. I need more for sure. Yeah, you can mm -hmm. feel it. Mm -hmm. And she's done her duty. She's been here, and she's early, man. She's knocking on that door like, you guys in there? Yes. And so she's done her duty, she's done everything I've asked her, so it just takes time, guys. So when you come out here, do not waste our time or your time or your money by coming out here and trying to spend one or two days with us. Um, we only took her because she begged us and, you know, sometimes, you know, I, I, I like girls who beg, so, I mean, that's just me. But anyways, uh, thank you very much, Jojo, for letting us do the video. Um, I hope you guys learned something from that. Um, say goodbye, Jojo.